Hi there. Today on my cool dual char griller grill, I'm going to make two Cornish game hens with my rotisserie attachment that I put on here. Remember that? This grill has propane on one side and charcoal on the other. First of all, I'm going to get the charcoal started. This is a chimney starter. Maybe you seen this before so we don't have to use lighter fluid it's filled with charcoal and it has newspaper in the bottom about three pieces of newspaper you know like this we like the newspaper inside and that's the only thing that gets the charcoal going after about five minutes this charcoal is going to be ready to go this is what brought the fire company here one time, <laughs> if you remember that, because it gets smoking. Okay, so in about five minutes, the charcoal's going to be ready. We're going to put it on the charcoal side. I'm going to put the Cornish game hens on the spit. We're going to have a nice meal. We didn't do much for the 4th of July. We spent time with our moms and didn't have a picnic. See, this makes a lot of smoke. By the cops in the fire department right here. <laughs> it's just charcoal, I said. I'll let that get all cherry red and then I'll show you when I pour it into the charcoal side. A couple minutes, I'll be back. Whew, it's smoky out here. We'll start seeing the flames coming out the top there, then we know we're ready. Oh boy. Alright, I'm going to pour the charcoal in. This chimney sure comes in handy. Don't buy a cheap one if you buy one because I bought a cheap one once and this handle came right off. Spend a little bit more money. This is Weber brand. I have it on a little pizza pan down the bottom there just to keep the ashes contained. I have to pour them in the charcoal side. They are. I'll just spread them apart. Even. Let that settle down for a few minutes, but it's ready to cook on. You see that? Let's go get the Cornish game hens trussed up. Put them on the spit. Okay. These are Purdue Cornish game hens, a little bit over two and a half pounds. We're going to wash them, pat them dry, and take them outside. Here they are. Okay, we're going to skewer these. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have to tie these up, maybe the wings so they don't flop around. Let's see how they're going to be. Yeah, maybe. Put them like this. Tighten that up. Tighten them up. It's funny how the string doesn't burn off, isn't it? Remember not to eat the string. Okay? Should I try the wings, you think? Yeah, I guess.
you ain't getting uh you'll be on here next yeah what you're looking at stop it don't look then that's gonna be okay as slow as it's gonna turn I'm not gonna get hurt let's open the hot grill up over here fit in the guide there when you take this off it's gonna be much hotter don't forget clean that up and look oh. and as they spin I'm gonna put a little bit of McCormick Grill Mates rub Chipotle flavor and roasted garlic on one side and roasted garlic on herb on the other side. It might fall off some, but oh it smells good hitting the charcoal. <laughs> and when they're almost done, I'm gonna brush them with a little barbecue sauce. gonna take maybe close to an hour. I did a bigger chicken and it took an hour and a half or so. These are two small ones. Smells good. Rub a dub dub. Can't stop. You love it? Okay. Close the hatch and I'll check on them in a little while. It's gonna be good, huh? Smokey out here. Got quiet, didn't ya? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'll be back. Don't look at him. Mm -hmm. One thing I like about this rotisserie when I turn it off, you see it's going that direction. I turn it off, it goes the other direction. Isn't that fancy? This is an add on to this grill. Put it on. Okay, I'm gonna look at them in 10 minutes. I don't mind if they flop around a little because they're not gonna touch the charcoal and they're gonna get done nicely. See you soon. It's been 15 minutes. Let's take a peek. Oh, oh that smells so good. Wish you could smell that. Delicious. Low and slow. Ready to go. Stop back to another 15. Mmm. Juicy. Another 15 minutes has gone by. It smells so good out here. You can probably imagine. Oh, I'm going to take the temperature. I want it to be 165. Not the fattest part. Put some Wegmans brand brown sugar barbecue sauce on one of these. So I have one barbecued and one flavored. A little more than that. And I don't mind if it gets all charred and 
burnt. Turn that back on. This is so, so good. Should I put them on both? You want a plain one, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it looks good to me. Uh, <laughs> Slather it on. <laughs> Yeah, I like them all burnt and crispy if I can. The brown sugar in there will burn up nicely. Mmm. Probably another 10 minutes. I could probably go a little longer, but 163 now, we want 165. More sauce. Oh. Mmm. Told you I was a painter. Should have rolled them. Okay, ten more minutes. Let me leave a plate and a loaf of bread. I'm gonna have myself a big hand sandwich. <laughs> now, this will be good with. Nice meal, corn on the cob, potatoes, whatever you like. Picnic. Just eat it right off the spit. Remember that spit's gonna be hot. Love it. Mm. Couple minutes, alright? Good enough for me. 165.7 degrees Fahrenheit. I like it. I'm not going to wait no longer. One last roll. See it rolling? See charcoal flaming down there? Nice. Okay, remember, this is going to be hot. Not the power. Open this side so I have a little more room. Oh, that was easy. Mmm. <laughs> from the wing nuts. Slide the tines off. Oh, that smells so good. I bet this drink would taste good though. I'm just gonna tie it down by the wings, right? Well, that came off easy. Alright, you know, I like legs. Let's see if I can get a leg off of here. See it? It's gonna be a sticky, juicy mess, but I don't care. I'm just gonna break it off. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Oh. Ouch! 
is a napkin. Thank you. Put them little booties on the leg, huh? <laughs> oh. Charcoal, rotisserie, barbecue. Mmm. Scrumptious. Oh! Mmm, mmm. There's meat on these things. I like the skin. Juicy, crispy, yummy. Mmm. That bird got quiet, didn't it? <laughs> I hope you like watching that. Too bad you can't smell it. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit and have these for lunch. Glad I tasted it for you though. So good. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. Happy 5th of July.